here at Lake Alpine. Nobody here. Lake all to ourselves. Hope there's fish. Not there should be some holdovers. This theory is a little tight, I think, from uh, from the salt last time. Washed it pretty good, but still pretty tight. Alright, we'll see you guys later. Let's see if we catch some fish. truck said 32 degrees it's nice to be up in the Sierras though man it's pretty up here looks like all the snow's kind of gone trolling with the Rapala right now glad I brought my Kuyu down because it's freaking cold I'm trying for the old rainbow trout sunglasses today so it's gonna be a day of a lot of squinting got up at 3 a.m. drive two and a half hours up to Lake Alpine yeah, you know what I'm all right if I don't catch any fish today because man this is freaking awesome out here it's freaking nice Okay, if I don't catch any fish. Ugh. There's her. And this brand new native. I think that's the the Slayer, or I don't know, ten foot, ten and a half footer. Nice uh, pedal drive. of the outbacks skinny guys can stand up in it really well and cast fat guys not so much let's get in that cove over there the jumping over there to see where the sunken log is yeah. looks like where it's a little bit more where there's less ripple looks like there's more bugs on the surface so they're jumping more huh fish on Fish on. First hookup of the day. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got here. On the Rapala. Where it is, where it is. What we got here? Loosen this drag up a little bit. Oh, dang, that's the littlest car I've ever seen in my life. Alright, alright. All right, we're on. I don't know if this is a little stalker or what. Good stuff, good stuff. We got some first thing in the morning. Oh, water's pretty warm. I thought it was gonna be cold. All right, some silver in here. Kind of chunky, not that small, pretty chunky. See that, Ben? No, well, pretty good for rainbow. A little rainbow. All right, take it for the first fish. Ain't gonna be skunk today. Got fish jumping all over the surface. Looks like they're starting to get up right now. I'm starting to worry there wasn't any fish in here, but I caught one already. And nice dusting. Nice dusting from last night. Ben and I did a hike 
up there, all the way in that ridge top, all the way around that mountain right there during deer season a couple years ago. Fish just jumped right in front of me. So they're on top. So the Rapala, if they want to go for the Rapala, they're hooking up on it. If they do. So, man, it's just beautiful this morning. Wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Right, so after that first hookup, I'm back here in the, I guess the, it would be the eastern part of the lake. But yeah, the fish are starting to be active now. Starting to get a lot of top water. Top water action, a lot of fish jumping, a lot of bugs on the water. Might be to match the hatch or something. Still trolling the rapala, just trying to keep warm. Pulled a big one out of here one year. Ben hooked up on like a five pounder. Kind of rare for this lake. Usually we just get the little planters and stuff. There's some big ones every now and then, but yeah, five pounder was kind of unusual. lake is very full. Man, my steering is freaking just... Rudder's probably caked with sand from the beach or something. I don't know. Moving around a little bit and it feels a little better, but it is definitely needs to get boiled up or something. Alright, so we've Stop trolling now. A lot of fish jumping on the surface here, so let's see if we can get something to bite. Some lures. Silver and blue cast master on my six foot Ray Cola. With my Shimano Stratic 1000. Four pound line, so let's see if we get something. Love this Ray Cola rod, and it's just <clears throat> got a good backbone for a little rod, and it's got a super sensitive to it. Great little trout rod, crappie rod. I mean, there's just fish jumping all around me and in front of me. Maybe they don't want this cast master. <laughs> There you go, fish on, fish on. Got him, got him. What did you say? They don't want the cast master? Yeah. Let's see if we need a net. Nice. Little guy again, but hey, we're gonna go for all the little guys today. What's up? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Okay. In the net, yo. Got him on the cast master. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Leatherman, greatest Leatherman ever. The way had this one for about 20 years. Pop right off. One of the good things about having one of these coated nets, you can get messed up by these, get all tangled up by these uh, treble hooks. Oh, there it is. All right, so got two trout now. Jumping everywhere around me right now again. 
they look like planter crafts, so I guess DFG's been up here. Something like a rooster tail or something like that might even help. Something a little bit slower. Oh, dang. Acrobat. You can jump right into my boat if you want. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're jumping right now. Right over my lure. Let's see it. Let's get it. Come on. Oh, I thought that was a jump right by me. There you go. On. There you go. Yeah, these are actions here. At least we got some action. Come on, fishy. Here it is. Right, diggity. Woohoo! Nice one. Nice planter. There it is. In the loop. A three. Starts to get pretty uh, hot here. I might just start catching and releasing a little bit here. Have some fun before I get my limit. And for those of you guys that are not aware of the regulations, you cannot catch and release after you've already caught a limit so be wary of that you see a lot of that on social media and stuff like that folks saying they've caught their limit and now they're just catching and releasing in california that's a no-no you want to catch and release while you do not have your limit yet Where Ben's at? Oh, there he is. That's why I like the colorful canoes or kayaks. Because right now I cannot see where hers at with his black native. And I can see Ben across the lake with his red. And I'm sure they can see me just well, just fine with my papaya or my orange. It's just too far to come out for a couple days. Might as well come and camp, but because of COVID-19, there's no camping allowed yet. All the campgrounds are closed still, because, you know, we tend to get COVID-19 when we camp away from people. You know, when you camp, you usually camp with your family anyways, right? People that, if they already have COVID-19, you've got it already, or if they don't, then, you know, the whole family's safe, but... Hey, I don't know, government logic. I know, I work for the government. I work in the department of make no sense. Every now and then I back up for the, the department of redundancy. It's supposed to pick up today though. It's supposed to be up about 15, 20 though. So we'll see if we can get off the water by then. Not moving away from that point where the fish are jumping. Wind's picked up a little bit on the main lake. Caught three fish. And because the wind picked up, kind of blew around all the insects and the fish aren't moving on top of the water that much anymore. So 10, 15 feet down. Over here by the dam, just soaking some, some bait. Relaxing, getting a little snack. See if anything bites. Slow day. A lot of fish though. I don't know what's going on. Let's see if we get a bite here on a mice tail. Got a mice tail. I got about 15, 20 feet of water. Let's see what happens. Ooh, look at this. Got like 20 mile per hour gusts right now, white capping on the whole lake.
right here. 